Hi, I'm Boone. This is Boone Slot Car Garage. And tonight, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys my lift system that I have for my layout. So, let's do this. Okay, so like I was saying, tonight, we're gonna focus on my layout as far as the winch system that puts it up to the ceiling. So, kinda gonna go over a couple of the little things since we do have it up in the air. And first thing is that this layout is put into two different levels. And I had to stair step it because I have a roll up garage door. And I had to stair step the other uh, section of it, the upper section, up a little bit further. So when the door comes up, it actually fits on the underside of it. So that way I can use my garage. So nice thing about having it up in the air, A, we get our garage back, but on the other aspect of it, things like a paddle board you can go ahead and strap to the bottom of it so uh, there's a lot of nice things about that plus the other thing is is if you have electrical work to do on the underside of the layout instead of rolling around on the floor you can actually bring it up in the air and start running all your wiring on the underside um, another cool thing is that I'm able to go ahead and put shelving on the underside and I can put all my cars around that as well um so we come back i'll tell you a little bit more about the construction okay so on the construction of it i built the center section i built that first and a lot about this table became kind of an afterthought you know once you start building it you're like i want to make it bigger so the one thing that being that it's up in the air, I wanted to make sure that it was light and that you know, I wouldn't have a weight issue. So the main part of the, the table, the center section, is built with two by four and uh, I think it's half inch plywood. And that goes right down the center. And that goes all the way through where the stair steps up and everything else. Uh, the stair step is all put together with like two by 12 and it's all bolted to keep everything nice and strong with different supports um the legs on the on the on the table are bolted in and they're just a swing out type of leg so when it's stored i can just go ahead and put it up put a seat clamp on it and it holds it into place uh, Again, center sections built real strong. The outer sections, or these leafs, however you want to call it, are made with two by two structure, and I used MDF board on top of that. So what helps there, it helps with the, uh, the weight issue, number one. And number two, when it came time to building my heel section, I was able to bend the board a little bit to shape it to where I wanted to go. So, you know, that helps quite a bit. The other thing is where the eyelets are at, where it actually goes through to hold onto the cable system, the pulleys. If you look up there at that two by four, you can see where a nut is hanging on through. I built those so that they float so that this table itself, if I put it on the floor and say I need to move it, I can go ahead and disconnect everything and the whole entire table can then be moved out of the garage. Um, same thing in the front. So the front actually is, the eyelets are, are uh, bolted right into it, but there's a hook on the upper side that I can disconnect the cables on. So the next step we need to do is start unstrapping this thing and getting it down to mother earth so we can proceed with the the adventure so first thing we need to do is i need to loosen up my ratchet straps and the reason why i have ratchet straps on it is when it's up in the stored position it takes the weight off my wench and it takes the weight off the cables so it's kind of a little added insurance plus the other thing is is my wife's car is parked in here and if this thing were to fall on her convertible, I'd be dead. So I like my life and I don't want to die. So insurance is a good thing. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unstrap this thing. 
and we'll start lowering it down. All right, so I went ahead and got the ratchet straps off and I got my legs down. So on this guy over here, we just disconnect our C brackets. This guy just comes down. Now the support down at the bottom here keeps it so my leg won't go back any further. And then I just use my C clamp on this upper side and just clamp it into place. And when it's right there, that leg's not going anywhere. So the lower part of the lay, uh, table has the four supporting legs. And the upper part of the table, I will go ahead and I just use a folding sawhorse. And I have it set at a certain height. So when this comes down, it supports on this end two by four and just supports the weight of the table. So next thing we're gonna do is I'll go ahead and show you my battery system that's connected to my winch to give this baby some power. So what we need to do from this point is get the layout to the ground, right? So what I have is I have a jumper box that's connected to the power source of my winch. Now the winch that I'm using is what they call a UTV winch. And it's for like those side-by-sides or even like if you, you put it on a quad. It's a 2,500 pound winch, which is complete overkill for what I have going on, but the price was right and it worked out pretty good. I think the winch cost me about a hundred bucks. So I have it connected to my trusty battery jumper pack and it goes up and I have my power winch bolted up to the ceiling up there. So what we need to do now is we just turn this guy on and nice thing about it is I have a remote and we're gonna bring this thing down. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and bring it down. <laughs> thing about this is that we can stop it anywhere we want so you can stop you can make sure that everything's cleared or what whatnot and just keep on proceeding so let's bring it down the rest of the way <laughs> she's down so you can see the cable system and how cables work is each time you loop you go ahead and you split the weight by 50% so with the four different points of, uh, of anchor points on this the weights pretty well uh, distri distributed across this comes up goes into our pulley system comes back down and then runs down to the end of the table down here where I have another set of cables or another set of pulleys to hook onto the main cable to draw it back up. Real simple design and it works really good. So at this point, table's down and everything's set. Okay. So now we got it down, I can go ahead and show you the upper portion of it and those eyelets and whatnot I was talking about. So the cable itself that I used here is one eighth inch cable. And that comes down to the pulley, which goes down to an S clip. And this can actually be pushed down and taken off the eyelets that are sitting down inside the table. So I have a mounting point here, right over there behind the SO guy and I have two on the upper. In the uppers, how I was explaining that they float 
on the two by fours, what you would do is lower the table down a little bit more, get some more slack into these cables, would go on through, just disconnect it and pull the cables out. So it makes it real nice. That way, if it push comes to shove and you gotta move someday, um, the table can be easily lifted up, dropped onto like, say a car trailer, disconnected and down to the next garage you go. So we come back, we'll wrap everything up. Okay, so there it is. Went ahead and I got the table back down to the ground. Obviously to put it back up, it's just put this video and rewind and whoop, and it goes back up. So I hope this guy, I hope this helps. Um, I know there was a lot of questions as far as how this, this table actually worked. Um, I hope, I hope I answer questions. Um, if you like it, like it, subscribe to my channel, share it with others. And, uh, Next time I'm Boone's Slot Car Garage, we'll get back to working on the layout. All right? So until then, you guys, see you later.